Hi everybody, my name is Sam. Today I'm going to talk to you about um, trap hats and how to program them. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get with it. Right guys, so we're in Logic now. As you can see, kick, snare, open hat, close hat, other um, drum elements. Um, so let's have a listen. Piano roll of the hi-hats. I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see what's happening. Okay, so as I mentioned before, everything is working together. How do we program them though? Let's get rid of this. First, I'm going to go to is my machina, um, switch into MIDI mode, and just record a basic pattern. Okay, I don't play, I program, so that's one of the main difference. Um, so what I've just done is play, play them in and quantize it, push it down to the hi-hat track, take the loop off, and let's have a look. So where, what is my kick and snare pattern doing, and where do I want to um, start to roll this, the hi-hat? Oh, I think here's a good place. So, first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of these shots. And here's the thing. This is the grid setting, and this is where the magic happens. We play a lot around with triplets. So your triplets are 24, 48, 96. Um, that's how um, detailed the grid is. I'm gonna go all the way down to 96 because trap high hats are fast. Look at the grid changing. Excuse me. I'm just gonna do three of them because the triplets. Now very important. Go back into sixteenths. Copy them over as the grid changes right onto the grid. And then snap into it. Now let me play that back. Yeah, there we go, our fast hats. Can do other stuff. I go to 32s. It's all about the grid. It's all about the grid. Copy them over. Yeah, that's your fast sound there. You can do the same in um, 32s. Let's stay in 32s. Get rid of these, but this time extend them into the grid. Let it snap, copy them over. Yeah, that sound. Or the infamous triplet sound, which is this. Yeah, it's all about the grid. Switch between 16s all the way to 96s, and the grid changes, and you program your patterns. Creative um, decisions are where you're going to leave your spaces. That makes an interesting pattern as well. Yeah, so this is basically the secret behind trap hi hats. Again, you can use this for kick patterns, for snare patterns, for anything that you want to roll. I even use it for synths, anything that you want to do. Yeah. It's all about the grid.